it's time for a coffee. And this particular video is not going to involve electronics, but it is going to involve a really incredibly complex little mechanism built into this carton of coffee that is well worth looking at. So first of all, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to pour it into this mug. And talking of this mug... I got this mug out of an Asian shop in Argyle Street in Glasgow some time ago, and I just liked it because it's Jesus with bread and wine and all that stuff, and he's got the 12 disciples. And I just looked at it and I thought, I like the fact that they've drawn all the different beard styles, so I just like that mug. It's only later when I was looking at the pictures that I realised the one at the end is snorting powder off the table. So, uh, very strange... Uh, the artist was apparently Skip Morrow. I can't find this image on the internet. I think it probably offended people. Maybe that's why it was in an Asian outlet shop. Anyway, back to the coffee. I'm about to twist this top off, and you think it's just like a, like a chilled drink. You twist it, and initially the seal round here breaks, but then something else is happening inside here. As I unscrew it, there's a lot more going on inside. And as I unscrew it... Uh, and it comes up, it's actually breaking a seal inside there, but you never actually realise that. And this does actually hold. Let me prove this. It does hold a full mug of chilled coffee. It's worth mentioning, I didn't realise this until I started making this video, it holds a very full mug of coffee. It's got 24 grams of sugar in it, and it says, that's very high. Yes, it is. Talking about drugs. That is a lot of sugar that's in this. That is exactly the amount of sugar that's in this. Quite a lot. Now, onto the mechanism. First clue, you might see these little sort of tangs sticking up here. Let me screw this on, noting that it's now not very waterproof anyway. And let me take a sliver of this coffee before I end up spilling it everywhere. Mm. Sweet, caffeine-loaded, creamy, sugary goodness. So here is one I prepared earlier, Blue Peter style. This is the top of one of those containers that has not been opened. I cut the bottom open and took the coffee out of it. But if you look on the inside, you'll see that it is completely sealed. It is a metalised foil which is designed to protect the contents from contamination by external stuff. But it is, up until the point you open that, completely sealed. So watch what happens when I undo this. So initially this seal is going to break. Oh, this is where it's quite stiff. And then as I rotate it, you can see little teeth appearing that are then puncturing that file. It's actually quite hard to turn. When you're doing it, I should have left it on the container. Oh, this is quite hard. But I've started, so I've finished. But as you unscrew it, this jaw slides through, but it doesn't cut it all the way around. It actually serrates that foil, and it pushes it to the side with a tab to secure it. As you continue to unscrew this, it then rotates that uh, foil cutter and locks it into position and then detaches and that's the point that the screw thread comes off. So you look inside and you don't realise that up to that point there was foil in there but it's just basically been cut and pushed out of the way. And if you look at the mechanism it is really very clever. Let me grab that. Here is the mechanism. Let me zoom out so we can actually see this. Maybe not that far but, but that's good enough. Actually Focus down that and zoom in a little bit. So we've got this bit with these little uh, teeth. We've got the locking ring on the outside that you'd normally find that just stops you basically. It stops people unscrewing it in the shop, I suppose, or you know, playing about with it. And it means that some amount of effort is required to actually break that seal. But after that comes this little insert here that as you unscrew it, these little tangs here push against, let me see if I can find that, those little uh, three little legs sticking out inside there. And as they do so, this really complex pattern here intergages with these pins on the actual base. This is a bit that's just glued onto the top of that foil container. Quite hard glue to remove. That's why there's still residue on that image. But as you then unscrew it, those little wedges just push those teeth up until it gets to the end, and then it rotates it round and locks it. And that is, basically speaking, as it pushes it up, that it is uh, initially just unhooking this, sliding it out the way, and then this bit in here is a bit that traps it. So once you've actually taken that off, 
that's not going to come out. Because if you did actually twist it, if you managed to unlock it, and it kind of latches. It's, it's really clever. If you unlocked it, you can take that out from this end. But it is uh, interlocked in there. And but once it's cut the foil and left that little tab that pushes it out the way, well, let's take a look at this one. It's very hard to get back out. It is, it is physically locked. It has interlocked in there to keep it in. A lot of design has gone into this. Uh, once it's done that, it's cut the foil and it's folded it back. It does physically snap in so that, you know, that isn't going to come out in your mouth. But that's very clever. It's very neat. You don't realise this is going on. All you get from the outside is, effectively, it just feels quite stiff. You just break the seal, take it out, and it's open. You don't realise what happened inside. It's very clever. I wonder who designed that. It must have taken a fair amount of design. So that's what's inside your coffee or drinks container. And now when you get one of those ones and you feel that strange sensation when you open it, you'll know there's a whole lot more going on than just unscrewing a lid. Very clever indeed.